Uh, thank you again to the moderators and sages for allowing us to present another project. Uh, this one is entitled Effects of Dexamethasone on Postoperative Urinary Retention in Laparoscopic Inguinal Hernia Repair. We have nothing to disclose for this project. Inguinal hernia repair is a common procedure with over 500,000 cases per year in the U.S. And urinary retention is a frequent postoperative complication for laparoscopic repair. Varying rates have been reported from around 1% to 35%. Previous studies have identified several predictive factors, such as age and the presence of benign prostatic hyperplasia. In addition, males have been found to have a much higher incidence of urinary retention compared to females. We hypothesized that dexamethasone could decrease the incidence of urinary retention following laparoscopic repair. Dexamethasone is a corticosteroid, and we have a picture of the molecule on the right-hand side here. It's commonly used intraoperatively as an antiemetic, and it has potent anti-inflammatory effects. We believe dexamethasone targets receptors located in the smooth muscle of the prostate. We think this can reduce the adrenergic overstimulation of the bladder, neck, and prostate caused by inguinal hernia surgery, and we believe this overstimulation leads to urinary retention. We took consecutive patients from a prospectively managed database undergoing laparoscopic inguinal hernia repair from 2009 to 2017, and we divided them into two groups. The first group did not receive dexamethasone, and the second group received intraoperative dexamethasone. We then conducted a uni and multivariable logistic regression analysis to compare urinary retention rates while controlling for several perioperative factors, such as age and BPH, that are known predictors of urinary retention. In addition, because males have a higher rate of urinary retention, we excluded females from this study. Standard protocol at our institution calls for all patients to void prior to entering the operating room, and all patients receive general anesthesia. Initially, we started this project looking to examine predictive factors of urinary retention, and that's depicted in this table. We have predictive factors on the left-hand side, p-values on the far right-hand side, and the two middle columns are the patients that did not develop urinary retention and those that did. As we were conducting this analysis, we realized that those who received dexamethasone, or those who in the urinary retention group had much less dexamethasone than those in the non-retention group. And additionally, we see other significant predictive factors that are already known, such as age and BPH. We then looked at the dexamethasone dosage and the rates of urinary retention in each group. Here we have the dexamethasone dosage on the x-axis and the rates of urinary retention on the y, with the number of patients in each group across the top. We see a very high rate of urinary retention in the group that received no dexamethasone, around 10%. And this was significantly higher than any of the three groups that did receive dexamethasone, either 4, 6, or 8 milligrams. There was no difference between the dexamethasone dosage groups of 4, 6, or 8 milligrams. We then examined the characteristics of the dexamethasone group and no dexamethasone group depicted in this table. On the left-hand side, we have the patient and surgical characteristics. On the far right-hand side, the p-values for the no dexamethasone group followed by the dexamethasone group. We found a difference in the pre- and intraoperative combined fluids with dexamethasone group receiving higher fluids. We also found a higher rate of BPH and Foley catheter placement in the no dexamethasone group. Interestingly, we found a lower rate of infection in the dexamethasone group, and as discussed earlier, urinary retention was higher in the no dexamethasone group. We then looked at a logistic regression analysis to determine if there are any significant factors here, and we found that dexamethasone use and age were the only significant multivariable factors for urinary retention, with dexamethasone use having a 0.48 odds ratio for reducing rates of urinary retention, showing a protective effect. In conclusion, intraoperative administration of dexamethasone can decrease rates of urinary retention following laparoscopic inguinal hernia repair. We believe dexamethasone can mitigate overstimulation in the urinary tract due to surgery, and this can reduce the flow resistance and facilitate completion of micturition we therefore recommend a dose of 4 to 8 milligrams.